All right, so then I'm gonna show you how to replace a, a Honeywell zone board. As you can see this here, uh, resistor just basically came loose from the actual traces on the back of the board. Looks like it burnt up as well. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you how to replace this thing real quick. Pretty straightforward, it's just a two zone system. Um, I'm gonna replace it using this here Honeywell uh, HZ322. So, shouldn't be too bad. System's off. So I'm gonna do first and foremost, let me go ahead and um, unmount the old board. So what I'm going to do now is going to just take this couple screws out here. Hard to work on the drill. Oh crap. Didn't have to go that crazy with it. Alrighty. Gonna go ahead and take the equipment side off first and all this is is running to the air handlers um, terminals so it's going to be running to the to the board here in the air handler So R these R and RH RH and RC have jumped together so it doesn't matter which terminal we put on that. White we're gonna do W2. Yellow Y1. Green is G. O orange. You got green is G is your fan. Y1 yellow. It's gonna be your contactor. The condenser there. All those reversing valve. And red is gonna be your constant 24 volts all right so now just connect that this is going to be your power to power the board direct from the transformer this is 24 volts here that's going to go here Your, um, right here on your board. Okay. Got a inline fuse here. Probably a little bit redundant, but 
I just figure I'll leave it on there because that's how it is, how it was before I messed with it. So, all right. So now we're gonna do. I'm just gonna use these two zones here, the first two for our zones. So it's gonna be our um, downstairs zone here. We're gonna do that for zone one. Get all these screws out. M6. So we're actually going to be using M1 and M6. It's powered closed. Go ahead and take our damper. There's four dampers here. Zone one, we need six, and one. And all this is going to do is just send 24 volts uh, to one of these here damper motors when, it's, when the thermostat's not calling for cooling or heating, whatever. I'm just basically <laughs> matching it up with the existing, with the way it was set on the board. Nope, go color for color, match it up with how it's already set up on, you know, the actual old board or the instructions. So. Do it the same way as you did the first zone. I'm using W2 because it's a heat pump, so you're using that for your actual auxiliary heat call. <clears throat> ok 
Okay. Now we're going to take our two damper leads. Close them. So what I just did there, this is actually for this side. I always want to pay attention to what you're doing. that sensor as well. That's going to be our discharge air temperature sensor. Usually that's going to be installed right directly in the supply plant. See it there? That's your that sensor. That's just going to go like such. Okay. Let's go and power up. There's dampers. Courage override. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. See, that sucker fired right up now. Yeah. That'll do it. So yep, yeah, that's pretty much a quick demonstration on how to replace um, a Honeywell HZ322 zone board system. Um, oh yeah, let me show you how to configure it as well. So we're showing our DATs here at 70 degrees. Um, I'm going to let that run for a little bit first. It's in fan mode. Try to configure here. So we're going to say configuration, system type. Is this not conventional? This is a heat pump. So we're just going to go up, back, hold on. Over, heat pump. Next, compressor stages, single stage compressor. Auxiliary heat enabled, yes. RF enabled, no. Zones installed, um, two. Zone one, heat pump, oh, that means it's gonna be um, not powered in heat pump mode. Stage two control thermostat, yep. Advance. Let's just see what the advance has got to say here. Purge time. That's fine. Two minutes. Fan and purge. Yep. Purge dampers. Yeah. Crossover. Discharge sensor. Yes. So your high limit temperature 
for your debt. Um, it's 160 degrees, which should be good. How high will this go? We can take it all the way to 180 if we wanted to, so... Let's do 160, that's pretty decent. Low temperatures, 40 degrees. Um, that's a pretty good limit. That means if it gets any lower than 40 degrees in the supply of plenum, it's going to go ahead and cut off. If it gets any higher than 160, it's going to uh, shut 24 volts. Um, Go ahead and save those changes. Okay, so we're going to override the purge here. Basically, as you can see, now both zones are calling. That's, so it's showing when these LEDs are green, that's showing that both zones are calling. That green means it's calling cooling mode. Um, so, see, we got 60 degree. Uh, that temperature was pretty cool. One less probe to have to use. I like that. Even though you definitely want to get a true um, reading from the supply registers themselves. Alright, the zone open. Just don't like that being touching on that metal like that, so try to get that up in there. So yeah, it's just a quick video on how to install uh, Honeywell ZH322 zone system, zone board. Uh, yeah, like that wrap, that DAT readout. That's your discharge temperature at all times. Um, so yeah, till next time, thanks for watching.